Hey everyone, Jake here, and we have a super exciting video today. Uh, lots of people have been asking, Jake, what have you been buying? What have you been collecting? And I've been pretty much collecting and purchasing a lot of stuff. I've accumulated so many packages from my recent eBay purchases, uh, my auction bid winnings, as well as anything I've been purchasing from card game stores across the states. And we're gonna be opening them all together today. Uh, I don't know what's in each individual package, like I can't tell you what's in this one, but I have an idea of what I've been purchasing, of course. Lots of vintage Pokemon packs, base set singles, uh, Pikachu promo cards. I know I spent close to like $2,000 recently, which is a lot for me. I definitely need to slow it down for a while, but yeah, lots of cool stuff. Let's start with the big boxes right away because I think these are actually the least interesting. The most expensive stuff is definitely in the smaller packages. So let's get to it. First big package, feels pretty light. So I'm actually kind of curious what this one is because it's not as heavy as the other large package. The other large packet is very heavy, feels like six booster boxes or something like that. But this one's pretty light. Oh boy, we got some GX boxes. I know what these are. Uh, these are from the discount bin that I recommended to you guys recently. Costco, I believe, had a really large sale and you could purchase some GX era and EX era uh, boxes for $10 a box. $10 for a GX or EX box is super cheap. And I think I purchased three of them. We got here the Beware GX box. Most of these are very um, low quality, nothing amazing in them. You see we got an XY Evolutions, an XY Steam Siege, as well as two Guardian Rising. Those are pretty much as poor as packs can get for Pokemon. It probably cost them a lot of money to ship these to me, considering how little value there are in these boxes. Um, this one's actually not too bad. The Gengar EX one might actually be the best one of the pile. We got the Primal Clash, always nice. Uh, Sun and Moon Base and XY Evolution, Gengar EX. Gengar is always a popular Pokemon. So yeah, interestingly enough, this EX one might be the best of the bunch. Really cool, actually. I think if you were to break these down and have the packs and the card, you're going to get well over $10 worth of value as long as you don't open up the packs. Those uh, GX and EX era boxes we're probably going to open up in a later video. They could always be fun to open up in a couple of years as well. And I definitely have some room in my unit so I can definitely store them for a little while. Another thing that people don't really talk about is storage with Pokemon cards. Surprisingly, Pokemon cards take up a lot of room. A lot of room once you start collecting, you know, thousands of them. What do we have here? Ikoria Commander. Magic the Gathering products. All right. Oh man, it's a box within a box. So let's crack this box open and see what's inside. All right, I've actually been super excited to receive these. These are super cool. The Magic the Gathering. 2020 Ikoria Commander decks. These are pre-constructed Commander decks. Uh, comes with 100 cards and they're actually really, really nice. Very valuable too, I believe, in the Timeless Wisdom. There's a single card that goes for like 35 bucks or something ridiculous. We have the whole entire set of all five different decks. I believe I purchased this for $160, which is an absolute steal. Uh, it was a pre-order and these are already sold out. It's really difficult to find these. And if you do, you're not paying 160 anymore. You're paying like 240. So these are just a great value purchase all around. Very, very worth it. I definitely enjoy. Uh, I'm still doing a little bit of Magic the Gathering collecting, but not too heavy into it. Unfortunately, Magic the Gathering and Wizard of the Coast is having a really rough time right now. They're just having so many troubles getting stuff to uh, be out on time. Like their production is slow, their printing uh, stuff is really heavily behind. And I'll be honest, I don't really appreciate a lot of their practices. 
they're just doing a lot of things that are very focused around, you know, getting money out of customers rather than making an enjoyable product. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy these. And either way, it's well worth it, $160, and it's over 240, 260 right now. So great low product. All right, let's crack open some of the smaller envelopes. Lots of these are from eBay as well as other auction websites, mainly eBay. Do not bend. Nice that they say that. Let's see where all of my money's been going towards. Oh man, this is probably one of the first packs that I purchased. Uh, what have I been accumulating? Let's see if this is the right pack that I've been purchasing. Yes, baby, I've been waiting for this one for a while. A Japanese original base pack from 1996, guys. If I could get all the shrink wrap out of it and pull it out slowly. Super cool, super cool. An original Japanese pack from 1996. Lots of people have been saying, hey Jake, be careful. Uh, lots of resealed packs, so we're definitely gonna check to make sure that the seal is correct and that it's not been tampered with. Yeah, this is definitely good. Very, very legit. Nice pack, beautiful, I love it. Uh, I definitely wanna have a couple more of these. Might even send them in to get graded, but these packs have been really rising in value as well. This pack was like 40 bucks. You could buy one of these like for 40 bucks six months ago, and now it's pretty much impossible to find one that's under $100. So definitely getting super rare, really dig it. Next package, this one is very, very heavy. So I'm honestly not too sure what's in it. It feels like a solid like apple or something. Did I purchase like a deck or something? I'm not sure what this could be. PSA graded cards? No, this looks to be also packs, which is the main thing that I've been purchasing lately, but it feels like there's like, I don't know, like eight packs in here. I definitely did not purchase eight packs, so we're gonna have to open these up and see what's inside. I wanna be real gentle with it. And yes, this is me being gentle. See what these are. Inside that package, we had one, two, three, four, five, six packs of base set uh, Spanish cards. I remember purchasing these for sure. Uh, these ones I purchased for $40 a pack, which I think is an absolute steal. I have quite a few friends that are Hispanic, and I think having some Spanish base set packs would be a really nice present for some of them, or a really nice investment all around down the line. These are really nice. At $40 a pack, I know, I, you know I'm you know i not a huge fan of the fact that they're not in English, but at $40 a pack, it was an absolute steal. So I'm gonna have to check these out just to make sure that they look correct. Lots of people have been saying like, you know, be careful, read seal packs have been pretty rampant, but I know most of these sellers. And so, yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. These are definitely 100% legit in my book. Uh, most of these I'll probably send in to get authenticated by PSA as well, because once a pack is authenticated, the value on it pretty much doubles. It's just really, really nice. I can't believe even the Spanish packs are now getting really expensive. It is an off language, but a lot of the packs, including the French and German packs, have also been really rising in value. Honestly, all of the languages are doing very well. At $40 a pack, I think that's an absolute steal for uh, that package. I think that was really, really nice. I think I've seen a lot of um, Spanish packs going for well over $100 a booster pack. I think it's because people didn't read uh, the label and saw that it was actually a Spanish pack because, you know, I saw some bids and auctions selling for $150 for a Spanish pack. And that just shows who's purchasing these. The people are, that are purchasing some of these packs aren't too concerned about what they're buying. 
as long as it's a Pokemon pack, they're going to dump money on it. They have enough money, but they don't need to worry about the languages. Whereas, as someone like me, I know the difference in prices. Oh, baby, these are super cool. Yeah, the birthday Pikachu cards. Uh, looks like we purchased two inside that package. I believe I purchased these for $40 each. It was an auction listing uh, for two. $40 uh, a card, which is really nice. These are close to near mint. I don't see any real major flaws. A little bit of white speckle up there. That one's not too bad. I gave away some of these in my holiday giveaway uh, last Christmas. And if you got one of these cards from me, you did really, really well. I think these cards were going for around $25 around Christmas. And right now, they're, they're hitting close to 100. You're really happy if you can purchase one of these for like 50 to $60 because uh, the asking price for these are well over $100 and they are really nice and they're actually really rare as well. Um, you know, lots of people were collecting base at Charizard a couple of months ago. I actually really thought about it. Like, do I want to get into Birthday Pikachu or base at Charizard? In Pokemon, you really should find a niche. You really should specialize in something. You can't purchase everything in Pokemon. It's just too broad. Uh, you're, you're, you're gonna stretch yourself too thin. You do want to diversify, but when people talk about diversify, they mean diversify your assets, as in purchase a bunch of different stuff like stocks and bonds and you know, real estate and whatnot. They don't mean diversify in Pokemon cards. In Pokemon, it's much better to be really, really good at something. And so six months ago, I decided between Birthday Pikachu or Base Set Charizard. And at the end of the day, I picked Birthday Pikachu and I purchased a bunch of those instead of Base Set Charizard. And the Birthday Pikachus have done really well for me. Uh, a Birthday Pikachu card went from $25 to $100, which is, you know, uh, 300 to 400% return, which is great. Charizard did really well as well. Uh, I think a Charizard card is going for around $100, so that's also well over double your money if you purchased Charizard cards in the last couple of months. Hey, speaking of Charizard, there is a base set Charizard right there. That is super cool. I definitely purchased some more of these if I could find them for the right price. Let's see what's in here. It's not just one card. I think this is the whole entire set. That is really, really nice. These are not first edition or set shadowless. These are just the base set unlimited ones, but that is still really, really nice. Uh, I believe I purchased this set for $100, which is an absolute steal right now because the Blastoise is 40, the Venusaur is 20, and the Charizard is, you know, 80. So as a set, this is well worth over $100. And the conditions aren't too bad as well. They are definitely played, but really decent quality. Nice set, glad to have purchased them. Next package, this one is covered in uh, lots of please hand stamp. I'm actually not too sure what that means. A few moments later. Well, we don't have to guess about what's inside. It says right there on the front, it's a Blast Toys Pokemon Booster Pack. Would they be lying to us? Probably not. That's exactly what is probably inside here. None of my packages are from Japan, by the way. All of these are from within the United States. If you have purchased anything from Japan in the last couple of months, I feel really bad for you. Believe me, I understand where you're coming from because right now packages from Japan are pretty much not coming. Uh, most of their ports are closed down. Shipping costs in Japan have pretty much um, times 10. Like if, if shipping something costs $3, now it's gonna cost about 30. Man, this thing does not wanna open. I'm gonna have to take like five minutes to do this. Five minutes later. So yep, if you purchase anything from Japan, like I did, it's not coming. It's gonna take forever. I've already emailed most of my uh, eBay Japanese sellers and 
they're not gonna receive most of their packages for quite a while. It's just stuck at the Japanese Postal Service. So yep, it is what it is, but hey, here we go. A Blast Toys base set pack. Accumulating these, really nice. I think I purchased this one for around $150, which is, you know, probably one of the highest price points I've ever purchased a base set pack for. Really nice pack, definitely not resealed nice quality you're just gonna have to check on these i can usually tell if there's like a printing if there's like a fake print the print is definitely real the pack is definitely real i don't see any tampering with them and don't worry i'm going to be sending most of these packs in for psa authentication anyway and one of the nice thing is that when you purchase a bunch of them you're really hedging your bet that even if one of them is poor, you did purchase like a dozen. So having one uh, tampered pack out of a, a dozen isn't too terrible. On to our next package, and it is another 1996 Pocket Monster base set pack. Super cool. This is such iconic art. Some of the oldest Pokemon art in existence, so it's really nice to have. Definitely gonna send these in for authentication. And right away, we have two packs from two different seller, and we can compare the two right next to each other, and they look identical, yeah. Really, really nice quality, both of them. So you can see, like, if you once you have a nice example, you can sort of compare the two and be like, okay, do I see any differences between the two packs? Uh, the Japanese ones are very consistent. The English one, you're gonna have a bad time if you try to compare it that way. There's just so many problems with the uh, American vintage packs. It's not even a joke. The thing was, they pretty much printed Pokemon cards from like a dozen different facilities. So you're gonna see all kinds of different like color variations and all kinds of different mistakes. So just because you purchased one pack and it didn't look right, doesn't mean that, ooh, these are cool. What are these? Oh yeah, boys. Some Team Rocket packs, the uh, Rocket packs from uh, 1996 and 1997. Really nice packs as well. These are super old and vintage. Such amazing quality. I really, really dig these. So cool. So cool. And we have two, three, and four packs. I didn't even remember I purchased these. But really cool as well. I think I paid around $45 a pack. And right now they're going for around 55 to 60. So Pokemon card prices are just constantly going up. Uh, the main areas that I focus on in my specialty is definitely the Pikachu promo cards. I purchase a lot of Pikachu promo cards, as well as a lot of the vintage uh, sealed packs. I don't have a lot of the booster boxes, but that's totally all right. Uh, the booster boxes are very expensive, and I just can't risk that kind of money in a box. It's just so high risk because the boxes have been tampered with. It's been well recorded that there are tons of tampered uh, booster boxes, even like well, well renowned people in the hobby like TCA Gaming has gone ripped off by a first edition uh, resealed base set booster box before. So it's very risky. With packs, I feel like I can hedge my bet a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, these are some amazing purchases. On to our final package. Uh, this one feels actually pretty decent, kind of heavy and large too. So I'm not too sure what's inside. Might be some more promo cards or some packs. I wouldn't mind seeing some more packs because I'll be honest, I'm not going to be purchasing packs again for a long time because the price point for packs and the vintage products in general is just out of my price point. They're just too high. And I have en uh, enough. I have more than enough of the vintage Wizard of the Coast era uh, sealed products to be happy with what I have. So next up, I'm probably going to be focusing more on some probably graded cards is the next area that I would like to jump into. There are some cards that I definitely want to have a PSA 10 example of. So, oh man, this is super nice. 
just by the coloration. Looks to be some more base set packs, which would be really nice because I'll be honest, I don't have um, all the ones that I purchased yet. Man, they always seal these so well. Gosh, I guess it is a pretty darn expensive product once you think about it. There we go, finally got it to release. And let's check out these. Oh yeah, these look really nice. We have, oh, English packs, even better. What do we have here? Ah, oh, gotta get to remove all these. We have ourselves a base set English Charizard pack, a Venusaur pack, a Charizard pack. This one looks kind of odd and a Venusaur pack. It doesn't look odd, it just feels kind of weird, like kind of wrinkly. Yeah, it's kind of a wrinkly pack. So this one might be a tampered one, but would they really have one tampered pack in four? Uh, so, what, so what do I mean wrinkly? Like the texture on it doesn't feel right. It feels like the air has been let out. Like these packs feel like they have some air in them and this one feel like it's all gone. And that might just be because of a popped hole somewhere. somewhere. The seal looks really tight. N nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with this either. It looks good to me. So I guess this one is just a little bit of older pack. I'll be honest, most of these packs are 20 years old. So it's not unusual to see some damage on them. And in general, it's not a huge deal. Like I said, I'm gonna send these in for authentication anyway. So it's not for me to decide. I usually do a decent check just to make sure I don't see anything too weird. If I do, uh, eBay has their money back guaranteed for buyer protection as well as seller protection. So it's really nice. You're pretty much, as long as you get what the product claim, you can always um, put a claim in and re get your refund if you really feel like you needed it. But yeah, these are nice. I don't see any major issues with them, especially this one. This is a really nice pack. A nice PSA 10 Charizard pack sells for well over $300 right now. It's actually going close to 400. So I definitely wanna send all these packs in for grading and authentication. It's just the right thing to do. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. This is what I've been collecting for the last couple of months. Lots of really cool stuff. We have the uh, Pikachu promo card, the base set holo rares, the uh, rocket Japanese pack, the base set English packs, the Japanese uh, base set packs, as well as even some Spanish packs. So honestly, lots of really cool stuff. I'm gonna send in all this stuff to be authenticated. It's just the right thing to do. Make sure that it's all legit. And when they are graded, usually the value goes up even more because it's now a trusted product. So yeah, that's gonna be an amazing video later on. What have you guys been purchasing? I would love to hear about it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.